Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Miss Sini and I am an intern in Lexis and Company. So the topic which we are going to cover today is prenuptial agreements. So let's get started. A prenuptial agreement is an official document which is signed by two individuals before getting married. The primary purpose of the prenuptial agreement is to settle financial matters in advance. The, the agreement are used to separate the personal debts and assets of one individual from his or her future spouse. This type of agreement includes the provisions related to prop division of property, investment, alimony and other monetary and possession based negotiation. The introduction of the prenuptial agreement is a foreign concept. In India, marriage is considered as a sacrament and hence the concept of prenuptial agreement is not welcomed in the Indian society. The prenuptial agreement does not have any specified format. If the content of the prenuptial agreement differs from the agreement to agreement as it depends upon the spouses, the entire concept of prenuptial agreement is complicated in India. The main purpose of this agreement is to decide the outcome of the financial and personal liabilities in the event of a failed marriage. So now let us see that are these agreements valid and enforceable in India. So the validity of prenuptial agreement under the marriage law is that the, this agreement provides full disclosure of the financial status of both the individuals who are going to get married in future. It predetermines the quantum of alimony to the wife and children in case of the marriage fails in the future. The prenuptial agreement also provides a provision that is related to pre-negotiated judicial rights of the children in case if there is a dissolution or separation of marriage. Under the Indian marriage law, a prenuptial agreement is neither legal nor valid as in Indian society, it does not consider marriage as a contract. In India, the prenuptial agreement do not find its socially acceptance as a society treats marriage as a spiritual bond between the two spouses. In India, the matrimonial law are governed by the personal laws of the individual in the marriage. As there is no uniform civil code which concerns marriage in India, each religion has its own set of rules relating to marriage. There is a diversity in the way marriages are dissolved, judicial rights of the children and other issues. At present, there is no law which deals with legality or enforceability of prenuptial agreement in India. However, there are uniform civil code in Goa. It recognizes prenuptial agreement. The general view of relating to the prenuptial agreement is that it merely indicates the intention of two individuals who are about to get married and as such an agreement cannot legally be enforced in India. One of the primary reasons of non-validity of prenup agreement is that in India, marriage is not considered as a contract or agreement between two parties, rather it is a spiritual concept. Therefore, prenup agreement are not socially accepted and under various marriage law, they are not legally enforced enforceable or legally valid. Now let us see the validity of prenup agreement under the Contract Act of 1872. To make a prenup agreement enforceable in the court of law, it must be a valid contract under the Indian Contract Act. In case of both the spouse mutually agrees to the provision mentioned under the prenup agreement and it is signed with the free consent, then the court can take cognizance of such an agreement. If the consent is taken by any coercion, undue influences, misrepresentation, fraud or even by mistake, then it is not considered as a free consent. To enforce legally the prenuptial agreement, the agreement must be free from ambiguity and the clauses must be fair to both the spouses. It is also essential to understand that for a prenup agreement to be legally valid under the contract act, there should be free from clauses which oppose the public policy. Despite fulfilling the requirements of a legal contract under Section 10 of the Contract Act, the Indian courts have not been provided legal enforcement to the prenup agreement on the basis that they are unlawful and oppose the public policy. According to Section 23 of the Indian Contract Act, any contract which violates the public policy is deemed to be unlawful and invalid. The clause in the prenup agreement which relates to separation clause and no child clause validates section 23 of ICA making the contract void. On the other hand, both these clauses previously mentioned are essential and must be for a prenup agreement. However, the Indian courts have not defined what exactly is public policy and therefore the stability of such an agreement is not yet balanced. 
The Minister of Women and Child Development has convened a meeting in March 2019 with an intention to raise a question on whether prenup agreement should have a legal stand in India. However, there is no precise determination in that meeting. So now let us see some of the case laws. The first is Tekat Mon Mohani Jamdia versus Basanta Kumar Singh, which is the Calcutta High Court case in 20 March 19. not one in this case there was a prenup agreement between shri rai basant kumar singh and take it mon mohini jemdai the provisions of the prenup agreement state that the husband will never be in the liberty to remove his wife from the paternal house the hindu law imposes a duty of the wife to reside with the husband wherever he may choose to abide if there is an agreement which states that the husband will not at the liberty to remove his wife from the parents house to his own house and if such an agreement is permitted then it is defect to the hindu law the court held that object to the agreement is unlawful and there for an agreement is void in the eyes of the law hence the court refused to uphold the validity of that prenup agreement the second case is krishna ayer versus balamma which is a madras high court case on 6th may 19 10 the agreement was between krishna ayer and balamma the agreement was entered by the husband and wife after marriage the agreement made the provisions related to separation of husband and wife the court applied the hindu law as the parties were hindu and brahman to determine their marital obligation the main question was arise where hindu law any agreement between husband and wife to live apart from each other is valid the the court held that the agreement is deemed to be a forbidden by the hindu law also it is against the public policy and therefore such an agreement is not enforceable hence the agreement was declared invalid the next case is sunita devendra desh prabhu versus sita devendra desh prabhu which is a bombay high court case of 4th october 2016 on 7th may 1951 ragunana desh prabhu and sita ravindra desh prabhu had entered into a prenup agreement the prenup agreement states that the provision related to separation of assets on 10th november 1987 ragunana desh prabhu died after filing suit sita desh prabhu also died it is contended that there was no pre existing right in the view of prenup agreement it was submitted that prenup agreement between ragunanath rao and sita devi shows that they had agreed to regime of separation of asset hence in this case the court considered the prenup agreement for deciding the issue related to separation of assets among the parties however there is no point relating to the validity of prenup agreement in this judgment so now let's get into the conclusion In India prenup agreement are still considered a taboo unless other western countries it is validity and constitutionality is unstabilized and no accurate decision have been made yet from the above mentioned case law it can be concluded that there is no landmark judgment which states that prenup agreement invalid in the court of law however to make prenup agreement enforceable it must be a valid contract under the indian contract act such an agreement will be legally binding only when there is mutual and free consent of both the spouses also the clauses mentioned under the prenup agreement must be fair and clear it is advisable to have a prenup agreement as it provides hassle free litigation in the event of failed marriages like divorce judicial separation etc the prenup agreement in since the division of assets is done before marriage it becomes simpler to implement such an agreement in case if the marriage fails in future however it is advised to consult a lawyer before drafting a prenup agreement for clarity and to avoid ambiguity so i hope that this video helped you to understand the concept of prenup agreement so we'll meet you in the next video till then take care stay safe thank you